to any car that runs. I don't care what it is. And they went out there and it was like a fully outfitted cop car. So the guy, you know, went, went inside and, and called the police. <laughs> what an idiot that guy is, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Stupid is a stupid dead. The 911 call was pretty funny because they said, it can't be one of ours. Uh, we're not missing any cop cars, and, and if, if we were, we would know about it, sir. Don't, don't they have GPS tracking or something on those? And he, he the, the, the guy that owns the junkyard got the number off of the thing and said, well, it's it's car number whatever. And uh, they, uh, they, they told him to hold on. They called the woman on her cell phone and said, we got a report that your car is over here, and she went out to the parking lot and then reported back. It's gone. Somebody stole it. Yep. So he's back in jail now? Yeah. He was just sitting there, and the cops came up and arrested uh, arrested him again and took him in jail. I mean, yeah, it's just unbelievable. Well, he got to go back home. Probably had nowhere to go, right? Exactly. Quite a bit hungry. Yeah, three meals and, and uh, three cot and a cot to, to, to sleep in. He's good to go. Yeah, man. Three hots on the cot. I couldn't, I couldn't think of it. Thank you. Seriously, some of these people, they, they don't know what to do when they're out, so they, uh, they just try to figure out a way to get back in. Well, you'd be surprised how many of these people are mentally ill. Yeah, I think that's, that's what it is. It's sad. Mental illness is uh, misdiagnosed uh, in this country. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, my friend's a psychiatrist, and he used to work in the uh, Phoenix, uh, Maricopa County Jail. And uh, he said that uh, it was like working in the state hospital. He said uh, over half of the people there were, uh, were seriously mentally ill and were very um, serious medications, you know. Yeah. Most of them were actually over there in California now. That's where they, uh, the mentally ill seem to flock. Why, right, because the weather's nicer? Better benefits. Better benefits, yeah. Yeah, sorry she called. She had to she had to go in for training on Sunday night. Um it's the only time they could get uh, all the uh, the women together. So she's on her way home now. But uh, no, yeah, I mean nicer weather but uh they, they welcome um uh homeless people, uh, uh over there you get all kinds of benefits, you get uh, free everything the whole city over there in Los Angeles you could go and live or what tent city uh, San Francisco I mean the whole thing is overrun now did you see in San Francisco the two major uh, uh, big hotels the Hilton and another one called something 57 or something they're they're closing down there they're getting out of they're getting out of Dodge they can't handle it anymore oh I know they've had to close uh, a lot of the uh, uh, stores, Walmarts have left, um, Targets, everything else, because they just go in there and steal everything. The cops don't do anything about it. They just, well, they, they're in need. They're in need, Terry. They needed that stuff. Yeah. Well, Joe uh, told us the story uh, that many, I don't know how many years ago it was, when he was working, he went to a hotel in San Francisco for a business conference, and then he, he goes out there, and there's all these homeless people all over the place right in front of the hotel. He said, that's the last time I'll ever stay in a hotel in downtown San Francisco. He said, what am I doing, paying, you know, all this big bucks for the hotel? And you walk out on the street and your life's in danger. Yeah, not only that, you you got to step over hypodermic needles uh, and meth pipes that are just littered the, the street. They, 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 they actually give them the drugs, I think. It's just they're everywhere. It's thousands and thousands of them just running in the gutters, just used hypodermic needles. Not a town you want to wear flip-flops, Terry. No. 
no, you have to step over the piles of a you-know-what, too. Yep. Knee high, Terry, huh? I'm not a fan of our governor, but man, at least uh, down here in the valley, she's doing something about it. She's, she's really, uh, uh, really uh, the, the mayor um, uh, as well. Uh, they're, they're really doing something about it and closing these uh, homeless camps down and and, uh, and and forcing them out of here. I mean, if you if you don't stay on top of that, it's just uh, I, I told you guys where uh, what it was like over there by uh, by that shop in Phoenix. Oh, yeah, I yeah, know. Well, yeah, David, uh, me, I, I, uh, Joe and somebody else also told me about the same thing. It's, it's like you wouldn't, it's a sewer. You walk out there and they're defecating everywhere. They don't care. Uh, you know, it's, uh, and like Clark said, you, you, you better wear some, some damn good shoes because you don't want to step on anything. No, I didn't know that the government was, uh, the governor was pushing that here, Clark. Well, you saw what she, you heard what she did the other day, didn't you? No, what'd she do? Oh, Miss Katie Holmes. She, uh, they, they was, uh, uh, the legislature, uh, in, uh, down there in the valley, down around Phoenix there, uh, had a, uh, somebody put in a bill to ban pornography in K through 12, uh, school age. And she vetoed it. Yeah, that was really strange. I saw that, but I didn't read the bill. Um, you know, when I read things like that, I immediately think, well, no, somebody's somebody's uh, construed this or altered this, or this is some kind of incorrect reporting because that's unbelievable. Yeah, why would somebody do that? You know, Mark, I don't understand that, but you know, who knows? Uh, uh, with all this woke stuff going on and everything else, you just don't know. Yeah, and, and she doesn't, you know, she, you'll never see her on TV explaining herself. She doesn't do that. So we just, I guess we'll just never know about that one. But uh, at least the mayor is trying to clean up the city. I mean, the, 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 the tent cities down there in Phoenix were just totally out of control. Oh, I'm sure they were. Nothing like San Francisco, though. Oh, yeah, I, I was telling them uh, they, they had a huge, uh, well, about a half a mile stretch along the um, canal over there where, where I used to work. And, I mean, these people had garages. They would pull their car up, Rich, and park the car in a garage in their tent, in their um, makeshift tent. They had, they had carports. Um, a lot of them had swimming pools. They had uh, um, kiddie pools set up out there and they'd be they'd be sitting in there uh, soaking in their uh, in their kiddie pool and their car would be in the uh, carport I mean it's just unbelievable <laughs> oh my goodness sakes wow the drug dealer would come through on a motorcycle he had a he'd ride a motorcycle we used to watch him we had cameras set up at the shop so we'd film all this um, he had a, a backpack on backwards so the backpack was on his front like his chest and he'd ride through on a motorcycle and stop at every tent. Hey, what do you need? And just do open drug deals all the way down the whole road. Oh, my gosh. 